I'm about to show you the best biscuits. Hold on. Is this the internet? Is this the internet? Is this the internet? That kind of looks like the internet. There we go. Haha. -ha. Biscuit tier list. Oh, such a good idea. I've eaten so many biscuits. I could tell you. Hold on. We need to go to a reputable website. Wait, Rose. That's where I get my biscuits. Oh, wow. Oh, <gasps> these things right here. These lotus biscuits are so good. These, uh, they're lotus, what are they called? Biscoffs. Lotus Biscoff biscuits are honestly the best ever. But those are my favorite. My favorite, where are they? I'm so glad I can't find them because I, if I find them, I will buy them. And then I will regret that purchase because I will eat them all. I've done it before so many times. And then I had to ban myself from ever buying those biscuits again. Hold on. Nutella's got some crazy biscuits. Oh, how much is that in freedom units? Um, so like one pound 30? Hold on. Okay, so that was one pound 56. That's about two bucks. 190. Wait, 256? Oh, 135. So 135. A quid? A quid and 30, 35 pence. I always forget that it's pence. Until I'm somewhere and they give me change and they're like, that'll be 35 pence. And I'll be like, oh. Biscoffs. Okay, so these are the Biscoffs. This is the package they come in. These things. So they're kind of like, they're kind of like a mix between a graham cracker and like a gingerbread. Like they're kind of little gingery. They're so good though. Um, yeah, hobnobs are really good. Uh, honestly, I'm not getting good pictures. Why Why can't I get good pictures? Okay, hold on. Maybe we have to go to their website. Hobnobs are my biggest weakness. This is right here. Oh my god, these things are the devil. I mean, not the devil. They're so good. You wouldn't eat the devil's biscuits. Oh my gosh. These things? These are the best biscuits. So they're about this big. Small. They've got- they're filled inside with like a hazelnut chocolate. It almost tastes kind of like Nutella, but a little different from Nutella. Just subtle hazelnut. You also get caramel ones. Caramel ones are insanely good. And um, dip this bad boy in your coffee. When you drink coffee, it is the best experience in the morning. This is my favorite thing to do in the morning. Hold on, let me just, let me just, let me just save this picture real quick. There we go. <laughs> there we go. This is S tier biscuits. Okay, let's go back to the biscuit list. Sadly, I don't drink coffee. Oh, if you don't drink coffee, because I don't drink coffee anymore either, uh, dip them in warm milk. A nice hot glass of milk. So amazing. I see your messages, Snacks. Your message says Utah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Utah. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". It says you're Utah. Oh my gosh. Okay, digestives are good. These ones are good. So these, these ones are quite big. So these cookies are like, okay, they're probably like this big. So they're a big size cookie. I call, did I just call it a cookie? It's so good. I definitely recommend it. This is what I look forward to every morning. Okay, let's see here. I've tried these ones recently. Oh, they're not very good. I don't know what it is. I think I'm really picky with chocolate to biscuit ratio. This one has way too much chocolate, not enough biscuit. Honestly, this chocolate biscuit ratio is not good. I don't know what you heard about me, but you can't get a biscuit out of me. Cause I'm a mother heckin S-I-M-P for biscuits. We're gonna put this one in um some, the like I said, the chocolate to biscuit ratio is honestly sorry, honestly, it's not good. So we're going to put it in C. That's definitely a desperate time biscuit. Like, you buy these biscuits if they're the only biscuits at the market that day. Yeah. I'm trying to find biscuits that I've actually eaten before. Oh, Oreo. Oreos. Oreos are good biscuits. Hold on. Oreos. Okay. Do they have blonde Oreos? I I would fight a man for some blonde biscuits. For some blonde Oreo biscuits. I, I will fight somebody for those. They're so good. Oreos, they're going A tier. Oreos, <laughs> it's, it's so good. 
Okay, where are we at? Oh, these things. Oh my gosh, Becky. These biscuits. Okay, you know how I literally just complained about the last biscuits chocolate to biscuit ratio being way off? Okay. <laughs> well, get this. Get this. This biscuit is literally a biscuit fully coated in chocolate. And it's so good though. I don't know why. Maybe it's the quality of the chocolate. Maybe it's the biscuit inside. These ones are so good. There's a brand name one. These are the off-brand ones. What are the brand names of those biscuits? They're so insanely good. Why can I not remember? So I stopped by- oh, right here. Foxes. Right here. These ones are so good. Yeah, so these right here, the foxes, they're delicious. I cannot buy these because, like I said, if I buy these, I just eat them all until I get sick. I have no control at all. It's really, it's not good. Just like, I'll just eat these until I'm sick. They look like coins. They're huge though. They're like this big. So they're not very small. They're really big. Okay, these ones are an S tier one. These blissfuls though are the best. These lemon ones. Oh my gosh. These ones? So these ones are weird because it's weird, right? To like dip a biscuit like a lemon into milk, right? Isn't that kind of weird? It's honestly, sorry, honestly, it's rather quite good. So I'm going to rate this one, um, maybe, yeah, ran out of the, no, cause there are, no, the second choice. I'll put these under second choice because they are good, and I would eat them, but like... Okay, these are the Saint Biscuits. These biscuits are the best biscuits. These are definitely second choices. Wait, actually Oreos need to go down. I will only eat Oreos if I've ran out of all these other biscuits. These ones, don't buy them. Just don't buy them. I guess it's weird because lemon... So, the reason why lemon and milk usually don't go together is because lemon is acidic and will make milk, like, curdle. It's, it's like... It's really weird. If you ever put lemon in milk, it's you should see what happens. It's really weird. There's a weird it it causes like a chemical reaction to like split the the milk. And it's really weird. And but those lemon ones are actually really good to put into milk. You've never seen that many biscuits before, really. I guess you have to be in the UK to see these many biscuits. It's just a British thing, I guess. Okay, I'm finding- there's so many- it's crazy how like, I've been scrolling and scrolling for biscuits that I've actually eaten. And I feel like I've eaten so many biscuits here in the UK. Uh, but I also feel like I have not touched the service. So these are the biscuits that I literally have right here at my desk. The Le Petit Chocolat. Must be French. Hold on, where are they from? Can I find the supplier. Product details. Produced in EU? Sounding French. Okay, these chocolates are alright. But I think they're just alright. We're gonna put the French chocolates in desperate times, yeah. They're good. One thing I don't recommend about these chocolates is when you bite into them, the chocolate like flakes off of it. So normally when you have a chocolate biscuit, you bite into the biscuit, the chocolate and the biscuit is like one, and they're like really well meshed together if that makes sense but this one you take a bite of it and like literally the chocolate will just fall off the biscuit man the more i talk about these biscuits do i even like them would i buy these biscuits again no i wouldn't <laughs> i would not buy the lee petite chocolate and they're not even petite look at how big this biscuit is this is quite large this is it compared to my face either i have a small face or this is a huge biscuit you decide. <laughs> yeah, Ritz and cheese. Oh, these biscuits right here. Little shortbread biscuits. These ones are a mess. So the chocolate actually stays on them, which is good. But the texture of the biscuit is almost like a flaky cookie. So you take a bite and it's like, poof, like explodes. These, those, these ones are also super cheap. And I'm going to put it under B tier. Oh, are these hobnobs? Oh man, I don't know how I feel about Hobnobs. Hobnobs. Man, I haven't tried a lot of these biscuits. This probably means that I need to try them. Like, what biscuit is that? I don't know. Oh my... No. 
No, never again. I will never try the Nutella biscuits again. They're actually so good. Right here. Nutella biscuits. Oh my gosh. No. No. Never again. Last time I bought one of these bags of Nutella biscuits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I ate myself sick. And then I bought another bag. <laughs> no, they're so good. They're delicious. And especially if you like Nutella. If you don't like Nutella, might not be your biscuit. Uh, but if you like Nutella, I don't even like Nutella, to be honest. I don't like Nutella, but those Nutella biscuits are a game changer. Hold on. <clears throat> While we're here, you know what we should do? Minimize this. We should... Whoa! Hello, universe. Uh, exit out of this. And then we should just press the satisfactory button. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I accidentally satisfactory! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, look at what happens. 